So some people eat Taco Bell because they hate themselves and like to fill up with trash. Others eat trash because they have no choice. Meet Mikel Lotito. He does it for money. And it all begins in 1950, Grub Noble France. Little Mikel was just an average little French boy doing average little French boy things. Surrendering forts, smelling like cheese, pretending to have a baguette-sized baguette. But that all changed when puberty attacked. Mikel was nine at the time, downing his sorrows with wine in a glass cup when BAM! The glass shattered, like my hopes and dreams. But now Mikel had two options. He can spit the glass out and get a new one, or what he actually did. Munch, 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 munch. Munch, 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 munch. And thus, Monsieur Manjout was born, using his ultra superpowers, Mr. Eats It All, really eats it all. From dirt to plastic and metals to Kim K's nasty coochie, Mikel has dedicated his life to becoming the best damn mukbanger he can be. Anyways, back to his origin story. After the glass explosion incident, Mikel was rushed to the hospital where doctors saw no damage at all. And the x-rays revealed that Mikel was no ordinary boy. No, his intestines were twice as thick. I bet you he wished something else was twice as thick. And that his stomach juices were more powerful than Ronald McDonald's piss. Capable of dissolving anything Mikel threw at it. So with his newfound ability to eat whatever the fuck he wanted, he developed Pika. And if you don't know what Pika is, add that to the list of mental illnesses that you don't want. Pika is pretty much like having a little demon inside your head telling you what to eat. Kind of like a wife. Hey, wanna try it? Just, just eat it, come on. Just one little bite won't hurt. Just a tip now. a boy. How's it feel? <laughs> Anyways, Pika's quite dangerous because it can lead to malnutrition, intestinal blockage, and any one of those thousands of ass-eating diseases if you're not careful. But not for Mikel Lotito. So one day during his teenage years, he needed some extra money for some Playboys or Maxims and had a life-defining core memory. Hey, you're the kid that eats trash, right? I'll give you two Charizards if you eat these roly-polies right now. And that was the best damn trade deal in the history of trade deals. And so at the age of 16, his career and life ambition was born. And at his prime, he was paid up to $1,000 a day to eat nails, plates, bottles, whatever the hell the audience wanted. He had a super high pain tolerance too, so when his friends got bored of just watching him eat garbage, he would let his friends beat the shit out of him. And if you paid extra, Miguel would let you stab him with needles, throw darts into his fat ass, light matches under his nails, and use pliers to pinch those nipples. But masochism aside, Miguel's main claim to fame was his unstoppable appetite for the progressively odder and odder everyday items. Okay, so he has eaten 18 bikes, 15 supermarket trolleys, 7 TV sets, and for those of you who remember what a TV looked like back then, they were fucking massive. He had 6 chandeliers, 2 beds, a pair of skis, razor blades, a PC, and his magnum opus, his creme de la creme, a low calorie Cessna light aeroplane. How the frick did he do this? Well, like any foreign object entering your body, Mikel needed to be properly lubed up, and I mean properly lubed, none of that KY jelly crap. He slurped down buckets of mineral oils before every show. This helped the two pounds of metal he ate every day pass through him as fast as the left swipe on my Tinder profile. And like all meals, variety was the key to eating the plain. He sliced the plain into small bite-sized pieces, he ate different parts every day, and he grinded what he didn't like into a powder and downed that shit like a Jim Bro downing a protein shake. And after three years, wham, bam, thank you ma'am, he finished his thousand pound meal. So he ate all that crap and still fared way better than that super sized me guy. And of course, he won a world record for it. And surprise, surprise, he ate that brass plaque they gave him too. So like all small time famous people of today, he lived a good life, appearing on television ads, making bank off OnlyFans, and living the high life. Till he was stabbed. Not by some pointy shit he's eaten, but by his girlfriend at the time. I guess he ate the wrong hole or something, I don't know. But remember, this guy ate a fucking aeroplane, 9 tons of metal over his life. So he has more than half metal at this point, so he survived. But not even Mikel Lotito can stop death, cause when he died, he died of natural causes at the ripe old age of 57. Not really sure what that means, you can come up with your own conclusions, but thank goodness he didn't eat that coffin, or I'd have to pull this shit out. Anyways, you're probably wondering if Mikel seasoned his food, right? Nope, he ate it plain.